I'm Missy Yost here with the Yost Group and welcome to Market Monday. Today I am going to cover Latitude Lakes inside of Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head. We're going to touch on Millstone Landing and we're going to take a field trip to the beaches on Hilton Head Island. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm the CEOs with the Yoast Group. If you are not familiar with Market Monday, I do these videos every Monday to give you guys more information about the area here in the greater Bluffton area of South Carolina, Savannah, Georgia, the surrounding area here. So uh, if you are a local, you will probably learn something new in these videos. If you are thinking about relocating to the area, you are definitely in the right place. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell so that you know every single time we do a new video, we don't just do Market Mon Mondays, we also do feature videos, we have Missy's Minute, and we're gonna start a new thing called Low Country Perks, which is going to cover maybe some lesser known areas, and it's gonna be one minute short videos that um, um, basically introduce you to some of the insider things in the area. So today we are going to cover Latitude Lake in Latitude Margaritaville, Hilton Head first. If you have any questions on anything I say today, make sure that you send me an email, call me, text me, however you want to get in touch with me, and I am happy to answer those questions. If you would like to drop your comment or question below in the comments, you can do that. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please drop them there as well. This uh, particular video did come off of a comment that I recently got uh, as a request to do Latitude Lakes. Um, if you are not familiar with Latitude Lakes, it is a community inside of the community of Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head. So, Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head purchased Margaritaville, well actually they, they purchased the land that is now Margaritaville by RSM uh, or from RSM Communities. And um, RSM developed both Hilton Head Lakes on the north side, which is the golf side, and the lake side, which is the south side. The lake side of Hilton Head Lakes is still in existence. That is what is now called Latitude Lakes. All the people that live in Latitude Lakes, they are able to use the Latitude Lake Club, which is the one there at the lake, uh, just like any of the Margaritaville residents because that is actually their amenity center. If they are over 55 and they had the option to join the uh, Latitude uh, Margaritaville Club, then they may then they can also use the amenities inside of Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head. There are rules and restrictions that go to that membership that allows the people inside of Latitude Lakes to be able to use the amenities at um, Latitude Margaritaville. There is a, a separate fee that is paid by the people inside of Latitude Lakes to be able to join the club and then they pay their own HOA fee. Together, their HOA fee and the fee that they pay for Latitude uh, Margaritaville Club is actually less than what people who live in Margaritaville pay. Now, the main reason for this is because lawn care is not covered inside of uh, Latitude Lakes. You are responsible for your own lawn care in there. Another big difference inside of Latitude Lakes is that the people who, who live in there um, are out there allowed to have fences. There are no age restrictions, so you can have children in there. There's no restrictions on how long your children can stay. Um, most of the houses are on the lake in there, and so they do have dock permits. Um, and uh, you can also buy your land and build on it later. So there's not that you have to pick your house when you pick your lot thing. So a lot of people really like that those features of being in Latitude Lakes because it does give you a lot more freedom in there. Um, but there's not very many lots available. Uh, the ones that are available are resale lots from people who have not 
built in the past. They purchased the land and then didn't build on it for one reason or another. So for those lots, you would definitely need to reach out to us or a realtor in the area to learn more about those lots because they are sold through a resale process and not like you can't just go into the, the sales office and say, I want that lot. Um, you do have to use a custom builder when you're in there. And that's another thing that can kind of cause a little bit, uh, cause your homes to be a little bit more expensive because with the price of building right now, um, they, there is, the cost custom builders are definitely more than the production builder, but that doesn't mean that you can't get a reasonably priced home built in there because I do know that there are some local builders that are building some awesome homes in there and they are very reasonably priced when you compare them to like the lakes, uh, the, the, the island collection homes and Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head. Another community that's coming into Hardyville is Millstone Landing. And Millstone Landing is a great opportunity for anyone who is in that uh, 400,000 and under category. Uh, the, it, Millstone Landing is coming in with much more affordable prices on their homes. So people are able to get in under 400,000 uh, with a really great home. And this is just a, a short video of Millstone Landing and the construction that is currently going on in there. Um, it is not an amenity rich community, but it is located around plenty of resources for activities through water, through biking, through parks. Uh, so, you know, you're in a great area anyway. So having a lot of amenities in your backyard is really not necessary in this area. You can still enjoy the low country. So if you want any information on Millstone Landing, reach out to us and we're happy to get that for you as well. So now for the fun part, let's go out to Hilton Head Island and let's cover some of these beaches. Uh, I know when Darren and I came here back in, oh, it was like 2014, I believe. Uh, we were told, we, we actually stayed at a bed and breakfast over in Savannah, Georgia, and we were told, oh, don't go over to Hilton Head Island to see their beaches because they only have like a small beach and um, not everybody's really welcome over there. Everything's behind the gates and you can't really see anything. So we took that at face value and we never came over to visit the first time that we were here. Um, it was later when we actually got married on Hilton Head Island that we realized that that probably wasn't exactly true. So Hilton Head actually has seven public beaches. They, uh, all of seven, seven beaches with public parking, I guess I should say. All of the beaches are, are public. So once you're on the beach, you can travel anywhere up and down the entire area, but there are seven public areas where people park and then go to the beach. We usually start our beach tour at like Folly Field. And Folly Field is an awesome beach. That's actually our favorite beach because you have parking right there. It's a short walk. It costs a dollar an hour to put uh, for the meter, which really is not bad when you compare it to other places around the, uh, you know, like up and down the Eastern seaboard for public beach parking. And, um, you have a few beach or a few restaurants right there on the beach that you can get to. The waves tend to be a little bit larger here and the crowds tend to not be as touristy. You will have more um, like uh, timeshares, Marriott timeshares and that sort of thing in this area. If you go down just a little bit further, you're gonna be at Chaplin Park. And Chaplin Park, it has a dog park. It's got a sports complex in there. Um, you have the beach. It's also called Singleton Beach in this area. It's very, very close to Palmetto Dunes. Um, so this is also a very, very popular public beach area. So then we're gonna go down a little bit further, actually maybe a lot further, and we're gonna go down to Caligny. And uh, if you've ever visited Hilton Head Island, you're probably very familiar with Caligny. This is where the majority of the vacationers stay. This is, has, is the place that would be more what you would think of when you vacation in a, uh, a beach area like, like Hilton Head. You've got your ice cream shops, you've got your souvenir shops, you've got your restaurants, you've got your beach bars. Um, uh, a lot of people hang out at the Tiki Hut, which is there at the Beach House, which is actually Holiday Inn. 
and uh, there's plenty of activities for everybody to do up and down the beach. This area is always a lot more crowded. There are also some parks in this area that you can, can enjoy and splash pads and that sort of thing for the kids. So this is a, a great area. A lot of people who stay on Hilton Head Island will stay in areas like the Breakers or um, you know one of the, the condos right, right here as well so that they do have access to all of Caligny. So this is our tour of the beaches of Hilton Head. If you have any questions on any vacation spots, if you would like for us to send you what we are calling a self-guided tour of Hardyville, Bluffton, and Hilton Head, we can get that out to you. Just email us, text us, send that, you know, call us, however you wanna get in touch with us, we're happy to do that. And once again, make sure you subscribe so that you are in the know every time I do one of these videos. I am Missy Yost, Darren Yost is the other half of the Yost Group. We are both here ready to help you at any time. So please don't be shy, reach out to us. And until next time, bye-bye.